tour. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Show your love for Maz Jobrani! Excited to be holy moly donuts out. Hey, buddy, buddy. <laughs> That's right, man. Uh, I'm excited to be here. I was on a tour called the Access of Evil Comedy Tour. Who's heard of the Access of Evil Comedy Tour? A few of you. For those you have not, for those you have not heard of the Access of Evil Comedy Tour, it was like the blue collar comedy tour, but with Middle Eastern comedians. <laughs> yeah, so like they say, get her done. We'd say, get it done, my friend. That's it. <laughs> Two hours of that. <laughs> get it done, my friend. So uh, I, was, uh, I was born in Iran. Thank you, calm down. No, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> Whatever, Arizona, sure. <laughs> no, and thank you, band. Thank you, it was a motley. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's funny because some people don't know how to tell the difference between Iranian or Indian or Arab. And here's the thing, if you want to test to see if it's Iranian, have them say a word that has two consonants back to back. My people can't do two consonants back to back. He knows an Iranian, he's laughing over there, yeah. <laughs> I swear, like the name Steve, we say, is Steve. You see an E comes out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from. Drink, we say, drink. Traffic, terafik. The best word, if you want to test to see if it's an Iranian, have him say the word gangster. Gangster has four consonants in the middle. Takes us an hour to say gangster. Gangster becomes gongeste. It's like you're stretching. Feel the gong is there in your legs. But I'll tell you what, what's crazy is all this stuff, there's a lot of discrimination that's still going on against Middle Easterners and Muslims in America. And it happens. There was an airplane with a Muslim family walking down the aisle talking about the safest place to sit on the plane. Some passengers overheard them, somehow misconstrued that as terrorist talk, got them kicked off the plane. My advice to all my brown people, the next time you're on an airplane, just speak your mother tongue. That way nobody knows what you're saying, life goes on. Now granted, some mother, mother tongues might sound a little threatening, right? To my Arab brothers and sisters out there, if you're walking down the aisle, speaking Arabic, you know, <laughs> gonna freak some people out. So if you have Arab friends, let them know. They gotta throw in random good words into their conversation to put people at ease. Just as they're walking down the aisle, just <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> Rainbow! Tutti frutti! You'd be like, I think he's gonna hijack the plane with some ice cream. That's my time. Thank you very much, guys. Arizona!